Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. Alright now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about multiplying, dividing fractions, and mixed numbers. And we're going to find each product. So, if I was given these numbers, negative 2 and 3 eighths times 2 and 1 half. Alright, well first thing, I want to convert each one of these to a improper fraction. 8 times 2, 16, plus 3 is 19. So we have 19 over 8. Keep the negative, multiply it here. Two times two is four, plus one is five. So we have five over two, five halves here. Okay, so now we we'll try. This. I always try to see if I can simplify anything, but I really can't. So we're actually stuck with these numbers here. We can't simplify it, uh, not that I can see. And let's go multiply this out. Multiply across the numerator and multiply across the denominator. Denominator is easy, eight times two is 16. Okay, numerator, a little more complicated. 19 times 5, if you need help here, 19 times 5, okay. 5 times 9 is 45, 5 carry the 4. 5 times uh, 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9, so we have 95. So we have 95 here, and a negative times a positive is a negative. So we have negative 95 over 16. But now we need to convert that back down to a proper fraction. Well, how many times is 16 going to 95? Yeah, close to it, okay? So, a few ways to go about this and kind of test it, okay? So what I like to do, and this is kind of my little chicken scratch I'll do here on the side, okay? Is I'll say, okay, I have 16. All right, 16 times two. So I have two 16s, right? 16 times two gives me uh, 32, okay? So now I have, there's like, how many 16s so far? So 16, how many of them? There's two so far to get 32. Then I multiply 32 times two. All right, 32 times two gives me a 64, right? 64, we're not at 95, we're trying to get up to 95. That's a total, right, of four 16s, okay? There's four 16s that we're used to get there. All right, now we're getting close, so I'm like, let's do one more. Let's just add 64 plus 16. Well, that gets me to 80, right? Six and four is 10, carry the one. Six, one, and then seven, yeah, 80. So 80, and that's a total of five 16s. Now I can see if I add another 16, right? 80 plus 16 gets me to 96, and that's six of them, but I've gone too far. Too far, because I need to get just to 95 or less. So here, Five is my key number here. Five goes into uh, five times 16, really, gives me 80, right? So we have five out here, all right, and it's gonna be a negative, right? So five goes into, so if we wanna do like the fraction form here, right? We have 16 that goes into 95. Five times gets us 80, subtract the two, we have 15 left over. 15 over 16, and there we have our final answer, negative five and 15 over 16. Quick recap, we're given negative two times, a negative two and three fourths, a three eighths, excuse me, times two and one half. Made them both improper fractions and multiplied out. Then figured out, kind of my little way of doing it, figured out how many times 16 goes into 95. Well, 16 goes into 95 five times with 15 left over. So there's the five, there's the 15, there's the 16. So on the denominator, had to keep it negative. So again, final answer, negative five and 15 over 16. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.